Hey guys, Davis here. Uh, in this video, we're going to be building an autonomous cooler companion. It's a robotic cooler that follows you around wherever you go and is connected to your smartphone and navigates using GPS. It's a little long to fit into one video, so we're going to break it down into two parts. In the first part, we're going to be building all the uh, platform and the mounting for the cooler. And in the second part, we're going to be uh, doing all the electronics and software. So let's get started. First off, we have these two rubber wheels about six inches in diameter, which are going to be used to drive the cooler. In the back, we have an idler wheel, which is just going to spin around freely as the front wheels are being driven. It's going to be mounted using a nut and bolt. To drive our front wheels, we have two 12 volt DC brushed geared motors. To mount the motors, we have 3D printed these brackets. The motor goes right in the center and the slit going down the middle allows us to clamp the motor in place using two nuts and bolts. This is a cheap mid-size cooler that we picked up at a local store. It was only about 20 bucks. Uh, it's got a handle on it, pretty simple, and uh, it's got just enough room in there to fit maybe a six pack with some ice. We're gonna build a motorized platform for this cooler with which we can just drop the cooler right in so that the cooler will be easily reusable. As the base of the platform, we're going to be using this quarter inch MDF material that we just had laying around. We also had some scrap pieces of 1x3, which we're going to use for the sides. The cooler is about just over 17 and a half inches wide, and also about 11 and a half inches long. Lining up the cooler and the wood pieces, we then marked off on the MDF where we needed to cut. probably use a circular saw for this, but f*** it. We also used these 2x1s for the sides of our cooler because it was the only wood we had left. We then used these nails to pound the MDF board into our wooden frame. After checking that the cooler fits inside, we were now ready to mount the motors. We used three wood screws to screw the bracket directly into our wooden frame. For the last corners that was not directly underneath the wooden frame, we just used a machine screw and a nut. Finally, we clamped the motor in place using two additional screws and nuts. We also 3D printed this hub adapter to connect our motor to the wheel. We also have this aluminum 4mm hub to connect our motor to our hub adapter. Then we drilled three holes into our wheel so that we can mount the hub adapter onto our wheel. Now we're going to attach our motor hub to our motor hub adapter using some number four screws.
To keep things clean, we're going to use this 1x2 to make a box on the bottom of our platform to house all of our electronics. We measured out an area that would approximately accommodate all of our electronics and cut our wood pieces accordingly. We then lined up these wood pieces on top of our MDF material so that we can mark it off for cutting with the jigsaw. After cutting the material, we nailed it to our wood frame. The box contains our breadboard with the GPS unit, a motor driver, an Arduino, and also a battery. We lined up our electronics box approximately in the center of our platform and marked it off for cutting. We then drilled four holes in the corners of this area so that we can use these holes to start our jigsaw cuts. A vacuum was useful during this step to clear all the dust that was in front of the jigsaw so that we can still see the line while we were cutting. Finally, we nailed the electronics box directly to the bottom of our platform. We also 3D printed this really sturdy bracket to mount our idler wheel directly onto the wooden frame in the back of our cooler platform. So that's it for the hardware part of this project. Make sure to check out our next video where Aaron's gonna go over how to do the electronics and the software. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with this project as well as all of our upcoming projects. But until then, see you next time.